Good day, everybody. That's Kevin Quality over there. I'm Vince Spoto, and this is my playthrough of Dark Souls 3. And we're at the uh, at the Gravelord Tender and the, the Wolfie fight, I call it, and the DLC. <laughs> and this is the first area that we did, so we still have the whole freight, uh, uh, let's say, lane to complete as well. We kind of just started the DLC. But we finished the first area, and we cracked the the bridge down and uh, we, we did the roots and all that area and the bottom area so we can go to that bottom bonfire I think it's called uh, the bottom uh, the, something something bottom we lost all our souls but it wasn't that many anyway so who cares I just wanted to um, set up now for for the boss fight and I was thinking uh, we're we're probably going to Go with the Lloyd's ring again, but I was thinking of maybe using the uh, the Drake uh, blood greatsword, right? Uh, it might be fun, so I was going to try it and see how it goes, right? But we'll see what um, if I can with uh, you know with the usual setup that we have when it comes to the armor. And it is here, and I'm liking the light armor because it looks kind of cool and. Uh, it feels like, oh, I'm getting ready for the boss, you know. <laughs> I think we have to get under um, under a certain percentage, and I think that we're pretty close here. And I know that we don't need some equipment, like maybe not the knife. And Well, we have to get to 29, right? And so let's see how, how this looks. So that's not too bad. I don't have a shield which is a little concerning. Well, we'll see how, uh, maybe that, that shield is too too large. Uh, clearly it is uh, for the equipment that I want to wear. And, uh, oh, the gauntlets as well. They might be a little heavy. So let's, let's lighten those up. I think maybe we can even go very light like that, but I don't like them. I like these ones, they look cooler, but I think they're a little bit heavier, let's see. Slightly heavier, but what are the lightest ones that I could wear actually? Oh, I keep doing that this way, like that. Those are 27. Those are 26. Right, that's pretty good. I think that's the, the best I can get. So those are 26. So I'm as probably as light as I I can be, maybe. Maybe this armor can change. Uh, we'll see what a, a shield looks like. Yeah, it doesn't look good for us right now. And where's our good old, okay, this one's probably heavy, yeah, and where's our good old grass, grass crest shield, and we're at 33, so, you know, maybe we will try without a shield, let's give it a shot, and maybe I'll put on a, uh, a knife or something, the healing knife for, um, how do you call it, uh, for defense, I guess, and a little bit of healing, which is probably ridiculous. All right, so uh, maybe with, let's see what our stats look like. Um, well, we're just a little bit above, but we, you know, this prisoner's chain is pretty good, you know. Uh, oh, oh, maybe I could put the Havel's ring on. All right, that brings me at 28. And let's see if a shield happens with uh, the Havels. It does not still. So maybe the, the prisoner's chain is, is probably, you know, I don't understand how this works. If I get more defense or less defense. Oh, wait a minute. Um, oh, right, right, right. So this is comparing to the Havels ring. It's not too much difference. This one here, I see it. it like does it it looks like it decreases my absorption but my defenses go up I don't really understand it but we're gonna try it anyway why not now in, instead of the cat ring we should try to think of something else to use I'm not going to I'm probably not going to get any critical damage out of anything uh, probably not gonna hit a lot so what can I use uh, I was thinking maybe we can go with some defense maybe and raise that up a little, but it seems, like, oh, um, the Claranthi ring, perfect. Because I don't have anything else for um, for that. So, and we're gonna go, so two damage and two defense and whatever. 
So we we seem to be good. And um, oh, let's see what our well, I can go just go from here anyway. So we're at 599 with our weapon right now. It's all split damage. So if I go two-handed, it looks like we are at 618. So it's not too bad. Not too bad. How you guys doing? Oh, yeah? Cool. All right, so we're at like 618, something like that. Let's just check it out. That's great, but that's split damage, right? There's no like actual... Let's, let's just check it out again. And this time, yeah, we'll check the sword out. But the physical damage isn't bad. It is, what is that? That's, that's almost 300 physical damage, right? <laughs> that's still a rather powerful hit. And also added to that, we have this lightning. Oh, and maybe since we have it attuned, we could put like fire on. And maybe that would be something else that I could add on to the boss fight that would kill me because I, I get uh, mixed up with my items all the time. I may use more lightning that might be cool as well because they are weak to lightning so let's try that let's do this we'll, we'll we'll take that out and we'll just do a little bit of lightning all right guys so that's the the setup that we're we're going to use i did have something else in mind while i was here but i completely forgot what it was so i would say let's just go after the boss and maybe uh, what I was thinking about will come to mind later. But I got so excited uh, uh, getting ready for the boss. <laughs> yeah, the depths of the painting, that's what it is. And luckily, uh, doing runs uh, to the boss here, it's, it's rather simple. Uh, there is some enemies in, in the way. Like if you sit still, um, you probably get an arrow to the head. But in most cases, everything's cool. All right, and this uh, consists of almost three things that you have to worry about. Well, there's three elements. Um, maybe there's more, but on the bulk of it, there's three wolves or so that there's that we have to deal with, and I don't have any any defense against. <laughs> we have uh, a grave tender who is a sword and board guy, and then we have Big Wolfie, right? And uh, they're all going to be very painful. And we'll see what, I, what we can do. And I, I usually did this with a bow the last time, but I'll see if I just have to aggro these guys. And I think I did. Right? Oh my gosh, that killed me. I wasn't even paying attention to the health. Sorry, guys. <laughs> it's a really cool fight, right? <laughs> I may have to... Uh, oh, I may have to use a different uh, sword. Uh, I might have to sword and board because I'm so used to it. But uh, I'm going to go for it. I'm going to go for it. So if I keep on dying uh, consistently, again, like I say, I will edit. I promise, guys. I'll make it look good, just like all the other ones that I've done. <laughs> right. And, and this time, I'll, I'll be a little bit more, uh, how do you say? Um, you know, maybe I can just lightning up, too, because it might, might make it faster. I don't know. But I got to kind of take it easy. Oh. 
You kind of got to run away from them because they're so aggressive. Wow, this fight. Amazing. He's amazing. Oh. I don't know if I could do a second phase. Keep on wanting to hit him again there. Oh, he's amazing. Oh, I think he's double phasing now. I'm in trouble. I don't think I'm going to make it, guys. He is really mad. Amazing fight. Oh my gosh. Oh, I died. I was trying to get the... Oh. oh my gosh. I totally made a mistake there.
Okay. I could use the pulse to my advantage, <laughs> you know, because this guy is definitely formidable. Okay, I think that's ready for me to fight him now. Double phasing it now. Oh no. This guy doesn't fool around. He doesn't like paying cat and mouse, does he? <laughs> It's unbelievable. Okay. I think I'm ready to fight him now. Oh my gosh. Finally, guys. <laughs> that was very difficult for me. I am not good with uh, multi-layered bosses, guys. But, oh my gosh, my heart is beating. I am so happy that it's over, and I feel that I did a good job trying to figure out this boss. <laughs> so just let me get a drink of water, guys, and bask in this wonderful post-boss feel. <clears throat> okay, guys, so I believe there's a bonfire here, isn't there not? Somewhere? We'll get those useless souls. <clears throat> Excuse me, guys. Is there, there isn't, isn't there a bonfire here? Okay, I'll have to look for it. You know, me and this long sword, guys, <clears throat> there's something about it that I just... I feel that I'm able to, well, I guess there's, there's no bonfire. 
usually there there's one before I'm just gonna look around guys because I don't uh, I will uh, I'll look it up though if I forgot <laughs> and I'll, I'll go oh there it is right there I thought so it's way the heck out here but uh, you know I don't know like people complain about this boss but I I have a great time like it's it's kind of like a lot of fun all right and you get a really cool reward and I, I want to show it to you hang on Let's travel to a Fireland Shrine. I also, um, my last attempt there, I ambered up as well. I guess, um, you know, with my setup that I was using, uh, I was kind of like also getting like frustrated because uh, I almost beat him uh, with the long sword prior to dying on that one. And I'm thinking, okay, if I amber up, then uh, I was saying to myself, then for sure I was gonna gonna get it. <laughs> Right, because I, I kind of want to finish the playthrough too, as as much as I love fooling around with different setups and, and bosses, right? But uh, don't get me wrong, guys. Like I, I get, I die, I get frustrated, but it, it is really like fun for me to do it. And uh, I, I, I think I've always convinced myself that I'm going to try different setups for bosses, like to let's say f do the finale or the fight them. And I'm always going to try them. I think for the next few bosses, I'm going to try different setups. I'm not sure about Freda, but. Uh, I will definitely, but um, anyway, before we uh, depart, let's uh, level up. Like, we can touch level up until like 120 or so, and then I'm just gonna stop. Then touch the right? darkness within me. Hey. Okay, so what do we got? We have one more, so that's not bad. Look how much we have to we have to level up, which is crazy. So we have one more endurance, and uh, you know, uh, there's a lot of people too that they bump up vitality and things like that, which is not a waste. It's just that I, I just use rings pretty much, right? Why not? Ash. You know, uh, I guess uh, lastly, we don't have really anything to, to update or anything like that. I think ah, we're just going to move on. It, right, I'm going to purchase some, some more lightning because I think it is spectacular. And uh, there we go. Now we have, Ashen again, one. nothing to lose. <laughs> Right, and really, the end of the—it's the end of the game here. Um, you know, if I fight the, 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 the soul sender, uh, uh, it's pretty much over. You'll see uh, credits, but you won't go to New Game Plus. So you could still do the DLCs. So that's why I opted to do the DLCs earlier on, um, before I fight, let's say, the quote-unquote last boss, uh, because you get the credits and everything. Right, it just looks cooler, I think. And um, now that the game is in its you know, there isn't going to be any more updates and things like that. Um, the final rendition of Dark Souls 3 always has the the vanilla game, the vanilla game, sorry, and the, the two DLCs, and they call them expansion packs now. But they just call them now the, you know, the world of Arianus and the Ring City, you know, includes that, you know, that kind of thing. So it's pretty cool. So let's get, um, let's get some, some different rings on. Okay, so I'm, I'm liking the lightning action, uh, and we're going to go back to the Drakewood, um, Drake Blood, uh, Great Sword, right? And um, <clears throat> what can we add for a little bit more damage, let's say? Uh, that's not necessarily an elemental, and well, you know what, let's just do, um, no, there is magic. I don't want to receive more magic damage, but I don't think it really matters. You know, oh, uh, let's do, um, we're doing, we're going to do regen. I forgot about that. So do a little regen. Uh, this is pretty cool. I think we might go the, uh, the evil eye again. Let's see if there's any, any benefit of that at all. <laughs> right? <laughs> I don't know. A anyway, let's see if this would work because I think we're going to try, let's try to put the fram armor on and I'll just uh, not carry around. And um, let's see if we could put it on because it's, it's so it's so cool, right? It's just that it is kind of, it is kind of, uh, it's just that it is kind of heavy um, to put on. It, it, it's as heavier than the usual stuff that I have. I didn't think it was heavy because it doesn't seem that it would be heavy. Oh, they're there. Kind of hard to find. So we're, we're doing okay. I think we're just going to implement the... Uh, Oh, I missed it over here. It must be one of these. Oh, 
Okay, we're at 68 practically now. And we just have... Let's see if I can have a... Um, at least... Uh, let's see if we have the dagger. And let's see if we can fit the Drake wood. Drake blood on there. Where's my Drake blood? Is that it? There we go. It's 76. Oh my gosh. So heavy, this stuff. So let's see if I put the... I got an idea. Let's see if I put the... Put on, and instead of the ring of the evil eye, we'll put on another one of these rings. And oh, that brings me so close. And that brings me there. So I'll wear the prisoner's chain. Very cool, right? So that, hey, we made it work, right? And uh, we have a little bit of space left over. So let's put our, our pyromancy flame on, right? That's very cool. And we will put, uh, let's see if we can put our bow on, which I doubt. I doubt. I doubt. But if we can, we can. If we can't, yeah, we'll just put it on as we need it. Oh my gosh, we can put it on. So, oh, we, we should buy some arrows. Look at that, guys. We don't have any arrows left. All right, let me buy some arrows. Pop a, you know what? Let me just use the, the, the handmaiden. I keep on saying, you know what? To sell my soul, so I know many I have. Okay. Yeah. Let's just sell. And remember that I'm on sell. Vince, you're on sell. You're on sell. Let's say we buy. Hmm. So we buy we buy a whole bunch of arrows. Sounds good with me. Okay, now purchase item. Very good, Vince. <laughs> okay, and we we are getting all sorts of great armor too. By the way, uh, you know it's it's really 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 well done. So I I'm really running low on arrows here. It looks like uh, it's just I have I had two I had ten feather arrows left. <laughs> So let's buy, uh, I like the feather arrows for the distance, so let's just buy, buy them up, uh, because I'm going to need Fashion them, one. and now I'm good, right, and I think I've done everything except to show you a couple of things that we got, um, which is really cool, and I'm also showing myself in a way, I know that doesn't sound weird, that sounds kind of weird, but um, look at this, I think we got a a cool thing. We have the champion's bones, and I'm going to show you in a minute what that does, right? I also wanted to check to see how much it costs to uh, heal the dark sigil so we can get a sort of different ending. I was always, always kind of interested in that as well. And there is also a weapon that's really cool that let me just show you here. I don't know if I can. Oh, here it is here. We get it for uh, beating the last boss. Yeah, it's very cool. Let me show it to you. It, it's like a combination of... Oh, there it was. It was right there. How come... Oh, I see. It, see, it's on my back. The the sword, right? And it's it's kind of like a bastard sword. No, not a bastard sword. Uh, a broadsword. I think it has a broadsword. Uh, Moosehead, hang on. No, oh, I ran out of... Uh... Anyway, it's kind of cool looking. And look at this thing. Very neat, eh? And if you double hand it, you get this kind of action going. And, and oh, it's uh, also, uh, you still get a shield as, uh, on double handing as well. And I don't know what that does. This is the special weapons art. Oh, cool. And what else does it do? Oh, cool. <laughs> Let's try that again. <laughs> oh, wait a second. Hang on. All right, that's cool. All right. All right. Yeah, so it's a really cool weapon, right? Yeah, that's something that uh, you get. Uh, but let me show you this uh, this champion's bone thing that happens. Let me put um, my sword on. There we go. Do I have healing on? I do. And I don't think I need this shield. Hopefully I could um, still wield this. Oh, gosh. Right? I was so close to uh, fulfilling the bow action. But I don't need it anyway. It's okay. So I'll leave it that way because I wanna I wanna carry around a shield that heals as opposed to having a shield that uh, replenishes my uh, my stamina because I'd rather have a healer as opposed to uh, a stamina regen when you're just bumbling around in the areas right yeah uh, the last boss fight I almost had him down and I uh, I wanted to amber because I ran out of uh, healing potions <laughs> I died I died right crazy anyway let me show you this. 
you know, this time around when I'm dying to bosses, I, I really, I, I didn't do it last time, honestly. I was terrified of dying. I just, I kept on trying to avoid death. But this time, I just wanted to explore the boss. You know, that's what I'm doing. And I hope you understand that. So if you burn champion's bones, very cool, right? Now what you get is you can get into some undead matches and you can get into um, duels. Now if you look at the top there, that's Kevin Quality, you see him up there? <laughs> My duel honor, I don't know what that even means. But uh, anyway, you can get duels, which is a one-on-one, -on -one. fight till one has fallen. Use Estus Flask is forbidden. So it's like uh, the usual duels, but they enforce the rules, right? Which is very cool, right? And here, if you go down here, see the password matchmaking? Uh, nope. When you have no passwords, you can just, uh, they're like public arenas, and you just fight with random people, which is always super fun. And then there is, um, when you put a password, you can invite people, you know, go online, say tell everybody that you want to do some duels and you know but it's not just duels there's two-player brawl which means just do whatever go crazy <laughs> right there's a four-player brawl same kind of idea you know this is all for fun guys you know six-player brawls you get a brawl group which is join either a four-player brawl or a six-player brawl <laughs> right it's just uh, there's a two versus two which is kind of cool three versus three co-op match which is join either two versus two or three versus three and it goes back to duel so those are all the different areas and here these are the different arenas that they they're providing us right and these are all the famous pvp areas in most cases that uh, that we've used uh, just even before this came out <laughs> right so i'm not going to enter any matches guys because i'm not doing really any pvp and it, it's you you guys have to try it out um i i usually typically encounter people that are either just fooling around or they're super awesome and they pretty much have all the tools that they need to uh, counter you right and if that's the kind of thing that you're in for or you're into then it's there's a lot there and you can make super a lot of friends it's not intimidating i'm not trying to intimidate you I'm just saying that pvp's um it is what it is. It's a, it's a different type of game within the game, right? And I'm more of a PvE player, and I enjoy exploring the the mechanisms and the engine and all the all the the, the new gear and all that kind of stuff. I enjoy playing the game. I like I'm an end user, um, but when it comes to playing with other people, it seems a little bit to me. It just seems like same old, same old. You know, it's PvP. PvP could be any game. Right, and it always has the same kind of vibe. You know, there's always the guy that is uh, friendly. And there's always the guy that's mean. And there's the guy that's there's always the guy that is uh, s super equipped to, to kill within a few hits. You know, there's the trickster. It goes on and on, right? And that goes with any game. So I get a vibe that it doesn't really. It, it, it's not like something totally unique, but it's very unique to to. But the the world of Dark Souls and PvP is very unique. Yeah. I think it's the people that play it. <laughs> All right, guys. Anyway, uh, guys, we're going to uh, continue on with the painted world of Arianus, and we're going to go from the bonfire at the on the other side of the chapel and make our way and slide our way down to the little town down there. And there's a bonfire down there, and there's a couple of meanies and a lot of really cool goodies. And um, we will progress. Uh, with this, the lore, I guess, as well. Because uh, so far, we haven't really encountered any NPCs. But uh, moving forward, they're going to add to the story what makes it so wonderful. All right, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. I'm Vince Spoto. That's Kevin Quality over there. And we're playing Dark Souls 3. Just a playthrough, casual playthrough, having fun. Thanks for watching, everybody. <laughs> Kevin, thank you. Bye, everybody.